In question three, we perform another hypothesis test for the variance. In this one, we want to determine whether the standard deviation is less than 10 millimeters. So standard deviation must be less than 10 millimeters. Because we're testing variances, and we're talking about a standard deviation here, that 10 millimeters has to be squared, and 10 times 10 is uh, 100. So this right here says the alternative hypothesis is the variance less than 100. So the variance less than 100. So again, the alternative hypothesis here says the variance is less than 100. If, the, if that is the alternative, then the null must be greater than or equal to 100. Next, we need to determine the critical values. This is a lower tail test. And down here in B, if this is a lower tail test, you want to uh, put NA in the right answer blank. The significance level is 0.05 because it is a lower critical value or lower tail test. We don't divide it by two. So I'm going to copy the I'm going to copy the significance level and paste it into Excel. Now we don't divide by two. We divide by one because it's a one-tailed test. The sample size, each sample contains 30 randomly chosen pistons. So the degrees of freedom is 29. The sample variance, the sample standard deviation is 10.76. The sample variance is the square of that. And the hypothesized value from the problem was 100, or 10 squared. The hypothesized, the standard, the standard deviation for the diameter of the pistons has to be less than 10. So that means the variance has to be less than 100. To get the lower now remember, we don't need the upper critical value because it's a lower tail test. So the upper value is not applicable. To get the lower critical value, we need to be in row 29 of the chi-square table. To get the lower critical value, we start at 0 0.05, the significance level. We go down until we get to row 29. We had 30 observations in our data. 30 minus 1 is 29. 42.557 is the upper critical value. 17.708 is the lower critical value. We paste that lower critical value into Cengage now. In part C, we need to calculate the test statistic. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and put that lower critical value here, too. To do that, we take the degrees of freedom, and we multiply by the sample variance, and we divide by the hypothesized variance. So the test statistic is 33.5755. I'm going to copy that and paste that into Cengage now. So... 
remember this is a lower tailed test. In order to in order to say that the alternative is true, the test statistic has to be less than the critical value. That is not the case. So at 5% significance, the null hypothesis cannot be rejected. So what do we conclude about the firm? Your firm should not ship the thousand piston batch to an Quinnifi corporation because we are not meeting the less than 10 millimeter standard deviation requirement. If we ship the batch to Quid Infinity, then we're shipping them pistons where the variance of those pistons is too great. I'm going to check my work and we should get all the questions right. We get them all right.